Cool. All right. On to the 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 third and final record here uh let's talk about dune i think the question i got in general was uh, i i should have written it down and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go look it back up on my instagram but it was uh just which which treatment which of the cinematic treatments or what i'm just i'm gonna say what is, i'm gonna give you kind of what i think about the cinematic treatments and the reason this is relevant is because uh if you if you're a dune fan at all um there's a you know there's you know that that there's a new movie that uh, that we're all kind of waiting with bated breath to either pop onto HBO max or whatever. And, uh, so for, and, uh, I, I, let me, let me add a disclaimer too. If, if you, if you're not familiar with Dune, like you, you can just shut this off right now. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, pre- I'm going to assume that you sort of know kind of the Dune universe. I'm not going to talk too much about the Dune universe specifically. I'm just going to talk about the cinematic treatments. So I'm going to kind of assume that you sort of know some of the cinematic treatments that are out there. Um, so, so I'll talk about, so, so, just to set the stage, if you don't, so there's there's a couple things to think about. So there was the original treatment by David Lynch, which a lot of people don't like, but I actually really enjoyed. Um, and I, I mean, I still watch it if it's you know when it's on streaming. It's kind of one of my one of my go to. Just hey, I need some noise on in the background movies. Uh, then of course the the channel formerly known as Sci Fi, and I say formerly known because I, I think I read somewhere that they're shutting down or they're getting sold or rebranded again or something's happening to them uh, that was once Sci Fi and then was. S-Y-F-Y, which was really weird, um, did actually two treatments. They did a treatment of Dune, and then they did they did a treatment they called Children of Dune, but it was actually a bunch of Dune books kind of sort of written together, and they did that really well, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then, of course, there was, there's the, you know, there's the, 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 the Villanova ones coming out, you know, for those, if you're not familiar, that's the, the same gentleman who did, um, Blade Runner 2049, which I was, was it 2049, 2040, the most recent Blade Runner, which uh, I was actually pretty, pretty excited about because I think, um, I think he actually handled, I know, I know there are some quote unquote Blade Runner purists who didn't really enjoy the new movie, but I actually thought it, I thought it kind of retained a lot of the spirit of the original pretty well. Um, you know, it was kind of, is 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 a very slow burn. There's a lot of, there's a little on the cerebral side um, and I think, you know, basically what it kind of cemented to me was that he would be a good director to handle something like Dune because there's a lot of subtext in Dune and it takes a special kind of person, I think, to be able to translate those books to film. So as far as kind of what I think about them, and this is, this is fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ask, ask, you guys ask me more questions like this because I, I love talking about stuff like this. Um, so I'm not really sure. I, I, first of all, it's, I don't. I don't have a favorite one. Um, you know, like uh, like right now. I, I like I said I really like David Lynch's Dune. There, there was there was a thing I didn't like. I, I think um, the whole. All right, I'm gonna get really Dune specific, and uh, it, it's it's streaming right now, so you can go watch it if you if you don't if you're not paying him what I'm saying. But there there were some things that he that, that Lynch changed that I didn't agree with, um, like the whole the whole like the the sound weapon thing so in so in, in dune they have these uh, in the in david lynch's movie the <clears throat> they have this weapon that uh that makes that they i guess channels sound and then it turns it into a, a shockwave and, and i think and i believe that was created just for the movie because i don't remember that being in the book that was what they called uh it was part of well, okay i'm not going to get too specific because then ugh. i mean if you guys want me to get like really specific about this stuff let me know in the comments and i'll, I'll be more than happy to like go like full frontal nerdy on this but but basically like the reason i didn't like it was because it he he basically invented that as a device to to sort of replace another idea in the book that i think would have looked really cool on film and that so i will say that was one of the things that i liked about the um the sci-fi treatment is they actually did kind of restore that and some of the some of the, the visuals they used for it were really cool um and i'm actually excited to see how they handle that in the in the new movie because i think you know special effects being what they are now and not and not only that but physical choreography and you know just the physicality of actors now being what it is i think they could do really really cool things with that so i'm actually excited to see like you know things like the weirding way and kind of you know some of the knife fights and stuff like that um so so as, as much as I, okay so i will say as much as i like the david lynch version that kind of knocks it down a point yeah i forgot about that 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 is the one thing i didn't really like um the sci-fi version i really enjoyed 
uh, God, there's not much to say about it other than I really liked it. Um, I actually liked what they did with Children of Dune better <clears throat> because, like I said, they actually they actually took a I think it was I want to say it was three books. They actually took three books. It was it was two or three. It wasn't just Children of Dune. So um, there because there was some child there were some elements of children. There were some elements of God Emperor and maybe it was just those two. Um, I don't know, but yeah, and, and they actually like if, if you if you didn't know those other books and you watch it, it 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 watches like one story. So it, I thought that treatment was really really good. Um, that's and and even if you do know the books, cause I did because I mean I picked up on that when I watched. It. I was like, oh, that's actually not from Children of Dune, but it's pretty cool how they segued into it. So. Um, yeah, so I really liked, actually, I would say, of okay, so I would say of all the treatments so far, that one is my favorite, just because it covered so much, and it, and for my, in my opinion, it did it so well, so if you can find, uh, if you can find that on, I think you can actually find it on, uh, on YouTube, there's like, there's some really low quality captured versions, and, and, it, and it's, it's a mini series, so it's long, like make, you know, plan some time to watch it, or, you know, come back to it, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, hope I don't know. It's a, it's a shame that somebody can't pick up the the rights to that and re-release it. But um, who knows? Given given uh, the I guess the big media company nowadays, their the penchants for making a <clears throat> mini series out of books. You know, maybe we'll see a, 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 a you know a GOT style treatment or something like that. Although hopefully they won't they won't shit the bed at the end as badly as they did with GOT. But anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah. And as far as my thoughts on the new one, I'm I'm excited. I mean, I I, I, I like I said I, I wish I, I wish I'd figured out the fair use stuff so I could put some of the uh, the trailer footage in, but um, I, I think it looks great. Um, I you know there there was some there was some casting I was a little apprehensive about, um, like uh, who was it? No, I guess there was no. I, I know initially there was like I, I think um, I um, was it the. Uh, I want to say was it Oscar Isaac? I, I want to say I wasn't completely settled about Oscar Isaac. I was thinking I actually thought he would have been like a, a better Duncan, um, but you know, seeing the the photos of him uh, from you know like the from uh, from the set, now he looks great. Um, <clears throat> anybody else? I know there's been some noise made about the the whole kind of retconning of well, not ret that's not a, the proper term. Um, I, I don't know what the polite term for it is, but uh, the the changes they made to Liet Kynes. But honestly, like. As big a character as Liet Kynes was, and I'm not saying this to be politically correct, the fact that he was a white dude like really wasn't a big deal. So the fact that that, that Liet's now a black woman is not going to be a big deal. Um, and again, I'm not saying that to be politically correct. That's just the truth. So, <clears throat> so I, I don't, you know, people who are making a big deal out of that just stop. Um, let's see. We've seen a little bit of footage of the sandworms. I think the new sandworms look really cool. Uh, what else? Yeah, uh, you know, I I, I want to see more of the Fremen. You know, we haven't seen much of uh, that's and, and rightly so, I think, because I think I think a lot of people that's a lot of people's favorite part of Dune. Um, you know, they they've been really kind of tight lipped on all that footage. You know, I mean, most of the trailer footage you haven't seen much of that. So, yeah, yeah. So I guess the short answer to to the whole Dune question is: Children is probably my favorite treatment. I'm really excited for the new one, but I really like all of them, and like most people, I'm very sad that we never saw Jodorowsky's Dune.